Here I am. This is like the fifth time I've pressed record on this video because I've had to like move the camera about a billion times in my room. It's very bright out. Um, any brighter and I would have to shut the shades and put my sunglasses on. But that's what happens. You see? Blue eyes. When you have blue eyes, I'm very sensitive to light. So people have made fun of me my whole life. Well, there's a lot to make fun of. Um, but like even if it's a rainy day out, I will wear my sunglasses. It's not because I think I'm cool. Well, clearly I'm cool. Um, but it's because, um, like right now, it's not really sunny, but it's bright out. Do you see that I'm kind of squinting? Light hurts my eyes. Cheers to you with my hot black coffee. See that? And, uh, oh, there's some little birds on my balcony. I'm obsessed with birds. Here's my cinnamon. Um, Anyway, I shot uh, a vlog yesterday with, as you know, my special guest. I was going to say Nickelback. Someday they will be on my vlog. Um, Chef Caitlin. We actually shot two videos, so I'm going to put the other one up shortly. But I wanted to shoot my video today to kind of share a couple things that I think are going to be interesting. Because so many of you have been asking me about how paleo is going, how am I doing it, and you all know that I read about paleo a year and a half ago or whenever, and I really just enjoy and go back. Um, but when I read the books a year and a half ago, I read The Primal Blueprint, and I saw people doing paleo, and I remember I was like, there's no way I could ever do that. Number one, my mindset was different back then. All I was, at, I mean, I was still obsessed with dieting, dieting for the sake of losing weight only, um, not thinking about anything long term, just what was quick fix, and then, of course, it was like, oh, I don't want to deny myself that. Oh, I don't want to deny myself that. Doing this and, and the transitions that I've gone through in the past two or three months, maybe it's even longer, three or four months, with naturally cutting things out because I've made room for healthier things, it's helped change my mindset. My mindset, and y'all know that have been reading my blog or watching my videos, y'all know. It's not natural for me to not be going, oh, red velvet cake. I mean, I'm a, I come from a family, we like to cook, I love to entertain, I love to cook. I can watch a cooking channel all day long. If somebody could pay me, I might stop doing Fit Fluential. No, I wouldn't, because I'm too happy. Um, I, if somebody back in the day had said, I just want to pay you to sit and watch Cooking Network, or excuse me, Cooking Channel, I got an email, um, and talk about it, I'd be like, I'm your girl. I love watching cooking shows, I love entertaining. Um, that is, I would say, probably one of the funny things is that now that I'm, you know, paleo, and I know, you know, obviously paleo, I feel funny saying paleo people, people that have a paleo approach to eating, they cheat, they have pizza, they have this, they have that. So, because one of the things I was thinking about is, wow, you know, will I ever make my amazing lasagna again? Will I ever do this? Yeah, I'll do it, and I'll probably have a much smaller portion. Here's why. Here's what I noticed. Last night, um, I had a late meeting. I'm here at the Healthy Living Summit, right? I'm gonna tell you what I'm eating, <clears throat> eating on a regular basis. And the things that I've been using as my cheats, if you will, and how I'm noticing that I've, because I've changed so much in this, in this diet, and I will always use diet in quotation marks because it's not like I'm going on a diet. This is my diet approach, right? Um, what I've noticed last night, long story short, had a late meeting, had sushi, I had all sashimi, which is what usually what I do. I had all sashimi and then I had one roll. I eat slower um, in all of my meals. Mm -hmm. I can't say in all of my meals. Sometimes with breakfast I'm, I'm rushing. But when I'm having, especially if I'm having a, a meal that's going to be like a cheat meal or I know I'm going to have something that's not in my diet per se or paleo, I'm going to slow down. One of the things that I've done in the past is, when it was cheat day, it was like, you know, free for all, and I would eat so fast. And you, you almost can't even, you don't even enjoy it. Because you feel like, if you're in that mindset, you feel like you're cheating, and it's almost like you want to consume the food so fast. You're probably not mentally thinking this, but you want to consume the food so fast, almost so, no, if it's gone, I really didn't eat it. I don't know. I try not to overanalyze myself like that, because there's a lot. Um, but anyway, I calm down 
I eat slower now, and then one of the things I've noticed is that if I have sushi on a, on a cheat meal or whatever, having one roll with rice doesn't bother my stomach. Last night, however, I had sashimi, I had one roll, one roll with rice, one roll with rice. And then later on, I was hungry and I had all these giveaways that they had done in our Healthy Living Summit bag. And they were all like gluten.com. I mean, like the entire bag is carbs, which is cool if that's what you do. Okay, that's not what I'm doing. And I was like, oh, I'll bring those home, give them away to you know my uh, my sister or my neighbor, and blah blah blah. I'm not going to waste them. And so there was a, a brownie in there, and I thought I'm going to have half of a brownie. I kid you not, I had half, maybe not even half of this brownie. I took the time to taste it, and I'm thinking, this is what I do. I'm going to taste something and go, is this really like wowing my senses so much that I'm going to finish it? I'm paying attention when I'm eating things because I think what happens is when you diet so hard, it's more in your head, this is my experience, it's more in your head that you think something's so great. You think that, um, I was obsessing for years about Oreo casters. You know why I was, I swear to God, it sounds like my something's happening, but I think it's my neighbor's. I think you build something up in your head because it's forbidden and you think it's amazing. When I finally started having some Oreo Cakesters, I don't remember when the last time it was, and I was taking my time to eat it and I'm like, what is it about this that I like? I didn't even, it wasn't even, it didn't even taste good. It was so, you know, don't get me wrong, Oreos, I'm all over that. I can't find anything wrong with Oreos. Oreo Cakesters, don't eat them anymore because I paid attention and I thought, I really don't like the taste of this. It's not as good as I thought. I was just obsessing about it because it's not allowed. So I'm eating this brownie and, I'm, and I was tasting it going, this isn't that amazing. I'm not gonna eat this brownie. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I tasted another one, so I thought I'll try another one. So I had a bite of the first one, I had a bite of the second one, and then I'm sitting over there. So I probably had the total of, you know, like one small brownie, about that big. Don't feel bad about it, whatever sitting here reading some emails on my bed with my laptop and I started to get the worst cramping. The kind of cramping in my stomach, God, I'm talking almost eight minutes, the kind of cramping in my stomach that I got when I had salmonella. And by cramping I just mean like, I've got to stop saying like so much, that, that my stomach feels as if it's, it's churning. It, there's a there's a cramping that you get that time of the month where it's just a dull pain. This is more as if, I'm trying not to say like so much, it's as if the inside of your stomach is just, you know, twisting and turning and it, it's painful. That's what I got when I had salmonella and everything that I would eat that wasn't bland bread would be that painful. It would be almost like you want to double over and it, it, your, your stomach hurts so much. So after eating I'm assuming it has to be maybe the gluten, the flour, whatever. I had that kind of pain last night. So I texted Carla and I said, OMG, Carla, I can't, and she said, you might be real, you might have, you know, now that you're not eating it at all and it's been so long since you've eaten anything of that nature that you could be even more, you know, sensitive. But I, I think it's interesting. What I tend to do now is I'm observing my body which kind of makes it in a nerdy way more fun. I'm observing my body as the science experiment. What can I do? What am I capable of? And furthermore, okay, this doesn't work. Let's try something else. For me with paleo, I have no idea specifically what it is, what I've changed. I said this before on one of my last vlogs. What is it specifically that I've cut out that has changed so much where I'm not getting the stomach aches, I'm not walking around bloated, and I'm losing weight what I would say more effortlessly. I feel leaner every day, and yet I'm walking around enjoying what I'm eating. Um, did I look at, <laughs> I was on a panel session yesterday, and the woman two people down from me had these amazing um, bars and cookies, and I'm staring at them going, oh my gluten, seriously? <laughs> Do I ever look at that stuff and not want it? No, but it's much easier for me to say, I, I don't eat that way right now. A ton of other people can enjoy that, that's great. It's not that I don't want it, it's just easier. But I am looking at myself more as a science experiment, and I'll tell you what, now that I remember that having something with wheat slash gluten, whatever it was, made me have that kind of stomach pain, it's gonna make it that much easier to turn it down. 
I went to a private reception earlier this weekend and they had all these pizzas laid out and they, they all asked me, you know, do you want some pizza? Do I want some? Do I bet it would taste damn good? Yes. I just have, I hate to say willpower, I, it's just easier for me to say no. You know, when you know that you're putting on your shorts every day, my jean shorts, Chef Caitlin, you just saw, my jean shorts that I wear, they're getting looser, more loose, and, and falling down more on my hips every day. I want to continue that. I'm not trying to get skinny people. I'm just trying to get my lean best. So all that to say, it's I'm feeling really good. It's easier and easier for me to do this every day. I am excited to get some maybe different recipes, some different, try some different um, meats and such. Um, but generally speaking, you guys are asking what I've been eating. It's 10 minutes already. I'm down with the black coffee. I got Caitlin to be down with the black coffee. Can't, still can't believe it, I have to say. It's more of a thing where I'm used to it. Um, I will say this, I had a meeting here and we had, I had a really nice espresso. I think that might be coming back into my life because that tasted really good. Um, generally I'll have eggs for breakfast. I'll have like at home two to three organic cage-free eggs. I do put egg whites in it because I like to make it fluffy. I whip it all up, put it in the pan, cook it with coconut oil and um, I kind of make like this, I have a hiccup coming, I kind of make like this, um, not an omelet, it's almost like an egg pancake. And sometimes I, quite often I like to put a tablespoon or two of hummus on top. It's quite yummy. Um, lunch, or here's the thing too, you guys, when I order room service, I never used to be the type that would go, oh, I think I want a big salad. I'm totally down with huge salads that have you know, the good stuff on it. I don't get it with cheese on it. I don't get it with um, avocados, great. Nuts and berries and fruits or, or you know, dried fruits is great. Um, if it's a vinaigrette or a certain dressing, I get it on the side. I have to say, I got this lemon Dijon dressing for a lobster salad I had here. It did not rock my world. It's kind of bland. Um, but I just like a big salad with a bunch of stuff on it. Um, never used to be a salad person. Um, I wanted to be a salad person, but I really enjoy that. I have a ton of trail mix around me at all times. Heather, running with sass, that's her blog, brought me, um, cause I was out of trail mix. So she got this one for me at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has some really good trail mix. I tend to get the one, so this has pineapple, cranberry, and almond, and cashews. The one I get ten is, um, I don't have the bag. It has uh, cranberries, um, seeds, pistachios, almonds, and walnuts in it. I really like walnuts, so that's one of the ones. But you guys ask what, what I eat for sweets. This is it. Am I measuring out a, four, a quarter of a cup serving every time I do it? No. Maybe I should watch that. Um, I have fruit. They sent me a fruit basket, so I had, I've had an orange every day. I tend to eat fruit by itself. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I am. Um, and then it's so easy, because you can have um, a burger plain, if you're in a pinch, you can have steak, you can have chicken, you can have whatever, just watch the, for me especially, I'm realizing that the dairy is, I'm much more sensitive to dairy than I ever did. So if something's heavy with, you gotta ask for no butter, it's not because I'm not trying to have fat, it's because dairy, butter, no. Um, even, believe it or not, that's the bummer. When you have lobster, I'm not dipping it in the butter. But now I know why in the past, when I would do that, I would get such a bad stomach ache. I don't want to go through life with stomach aches. I gotta stop talking, it's almost 15 minutes. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you, you know, what happened with the gluten thing. Um, I'm obviously getting ready to do my workout. It's been a really great weekend up here. Of course, I've been slammed busy, which is why um, I'm gonna have to just change my blog so that my goal is to blog three times a week. I think that's really all I can do now. Um, I just don't have time. Um, Sometimes it's easier for me to shoot a video, but then I, I put the video up on YouTube and I forget to write my blog post, so I have to remember. But I did get some. Let me tell you. I'm just being honest. Every time Reebok comes out with a new shoe, they're just so cool. I don't know if I heard these. How cool are they? Seriously? I mean, oh, and they had a new one. It's more, you know, I don't... When I wear these ones from Reebok, I tend to wear them more 
for my circuit training, they have specific CrossFit shoes, and then I wear like the regular ones when I'm walking around the house. You know, they're like, how many times did I just say like? I really have to watch how many times I say like. It's getting annoying. Kim Kardashian says that all the time. When I was watching the Kardashians the other day, I was, I almost said it. I was like, I saw how many times they said like, and now I'm so aware of how many times I say it. So we're gonna work on that. I'm like, I didn't know I had this on my iPod. I don't even know what song this is. I think I do, but I didn't know it was on my iPod. That's creepy. Okay, I have to go because I'm, I don't even know what song this is. I'm gonna go do my workout. You guys have a great day. And I will be back tomorrow. I think I'm gonna work out on my deck. And that could be creepy. See you tomorrow.